Next, I want to talk through the e-commerce process. I'm going to be using Google Checkout and PayPal as examples. One reason why I usually tell people to have an e-commerce provider that's separate is because I don't want credit cards on my website. I don't want people putting those numbers on my server and having to worry about that kind of encryption and liability. So what service, services like Google Checkout and PayPal and Authorize.net and all those providers do is they take the order and then send the customer back to your site. So in this case, with the Google Checkout slide, people are on my site. Uh, and this could be a page on my blog which has a product for each page. They click Add to Cart. Then they check out. When they click check out, they go from my site <clears throat> or my blog, excuse me, <coughs> excuse me folks, they go from my site or my blog to Google Checkout. So they go, they go off my site to do the order to handle the encryption, the authorization, all that mess. And then they come back to the website to a thank you page. So that way, all the important secret stuff dealing with MasterCard and Visa and Amex and Discover and credit card numbers and the thing on the back under the code, the three-letter code thing, all that stuff is handled over Google Checkout because I will trust those brainiacs much more than myself. Another example of this is PayPal, where again, you go from the website to PayPal, they enter their information, uh, they, and remember, you don't have to create an account anymore to use PayPal. It used to be you did, but now customers don't have to create PayPal accounts to give you money and process a transaction. So they go, the order goes through, it comes through, they send them back to your site, they get an email that uh, confirms that the order was successful, and that's how most of these providers work. So that was an example of Google Checkout and PayPal which is still owned by eBay, I think. Yes, they are. So most providers will be working like this, where you go from your website into the e-commerce provider, they handle the order, the encryption, the security, all the SSL socket layers and the HTTPS stuff, and then they bring you back to the website. Another example for PayPal is they do have a widget that allows you to show your storefront. So if you have a PayPal storefront, you can use this widget to add that to your sidebar or to a products page, stuff like that on your blog. And an example I had to include because we have so many craft bloggers on Typepad, um, and because my parents are hand weavers, hand weavers, is the Etsy widget. And Etsy, if you've never been to Etsy, you must go to Etsy.com. It is crazy. People are nuts about craft blogging. And uh, Etsy allows people to sell their handmade wares online. It's at Etsy.com, E-T-S-Y.com. And this is an example of the Etsy widget that you can add to your sidebar, to a post, to a page, whatever you want to do. So again, this is Etsy. If you have never dipped into the world of craft blogging, you are in for a long afternoon because there is some crazy craft blogging stuff out there. If you think foodie bloggers are crazy, <laughs> if you think mommy bloggers are crazy, I'm kidding. Craft bloggers are just in it. The crochet versus uh, knitting. knitting fights, it's wild. Anyway, uh, there's the link for it right there at the bottom. It's, uh, I did a short and bitly link for you right there. But to get more ideas of, of the vast array of things you can do with the blog and e-commerce, go to our widget gallery, which uh, the address is there, sixapart.com slash typepad slash widgets. There's a category for small business. Check those out. Uh, and uh, I actually am done with my slides. We're done a little early, so we have some Q&A time. And I do want to remind you to get started with typepad today. If you are not a typepad person, I, uh, please take us for a test drive, and we have a, a discount code, which uh, for me is AW610 for TypePad Pro. AW610, so the pressure's on. You know, if you haven't used a code yet from this series, use mine because it'll make me look good. So go to TypePad.com, click on free trial, use TypePad Pro for AW610, and also on this slide I have the address 
for this entire six call series of calls we've done, our small business webinar series. Uh, this is our last call for this particular saga, and that's the typepad.com small dash business dash blogs. And so uh, let's get some Q and A. Go for it, Claire. So um, yes. we do have a couple of questions. Yes. One was um, when you uploaded the background to the to the T site. Yes. You had a green background. Yes. And it was cross hatched. Yes. And we were wondering how you did that. I found that on iStock Photo. So that was a background that you found on iStock Photo, yes. and you uploaded it as an image? As an image. Okay. Yep. I think probably the easiest thing for many of these questions is to kind of put together the how-to guide linked to articles in the knowledge base after yeah. the call and send that out. Yeah, we'll do that. Because we've covered quite a lot of technical ground. Cool. Um, oh, Joe's asking if she's already a TypePad user and she wants to upgrade, can she use the code? Uh, if you are a relatively new TypePad customer, yes, like in the past 30 days. If you're a veteran, they won't let me do it. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. They won't let us do it. <laughs> the finance people get really squirrely when we try to do that. So if you're a relatively new TypePad user, by all means, if you're a veteran, thank you for your business. <laughs> and Thank you. <laughs> um, so there's another question here. Um, I'd like to see how um, Andy turned the navigation uh, bar uh, to have a black background. Yes, I will include that in the documentation. It's a very simple CSS statement. Your custom styles on the blog. Um, Peter is asking um, what the discount is with the discount code. It is 10%. 10% off for the life of the account on Typepad Pro. Um, uh, Louisa is asking, how about monetizing blogs themselves? Do we have any recommendations? Amazing. You should ask. Uh, <laughs> we do have an entire corner of the building devoted to helping bloggers monetize their blogs. And if you just go to uh, – let me get the link up. Actually, I'll just type it out here. Uh, let's see. I think it's – just go to – is it sixapart.com? Advertising if I can spell it correctly. And I'm not typing very well because it's a, a demo and it's live and I always, you know, have typos. But go to sixapart.com slash advertising and there's a link that says helping bloggers and publishers make money. We have entire staff dedicated to that, that pursuit. We run one of the largest uh, social media advertising networks in the world that we've built in just the past year, which reaches um, uh, a billion, over a billion impressions a month and reaches millions and millions of readers every single day, as well as we work on custom promotions with brands like Best Buy, um, Apple, HP, Pepsi. So we're able to service both needs of the bloggers. Uh, other ways to monetize your blog would include using Google AdSense, contextual advertising like that, paper post, uh, which is a bit controversial, but people still do it, at uh, izea.com is another income stream for your blog. Of course, books, book sales from Amazon affiliates and associates, uh, any kind of affiliate product that is uh, focused and relevant to your audience will also be another way to make money with your blog. And that's kind of direct income from the blog versus your blog as a marketing tool. Uh, thanks. Mel is asking um, if she wants to have someone help her with the design of her blog. Do we have any people that we can recommend? We sure do. Just go to typepad.com slash one, O-N-E, if I can type that correctly. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have a services team. So you need to click on typepad services on that page. Yeah. So go to typepad.com uh, slash one and click on services. And we have a cabal of TypePad Brainiacs to help you, as well as uh, about a dozen external consultants that we really think are smarty pants when it comes to this stuff. So go to typepad.com slash one and click on services. That we can answer offline. All righty, so we will get those questions answered for folks. And let me unmute everybody so we can say goodbye. And I do want to remind you that you can read all of these uh, calls at typepad.com slash small dash business dash blogs. This recording for this particular call should be up hopefully by Monday. Depends on when we can strong arm the design team to get it together because they're very busy people. But I'm going to go ahead and unmute everyone so we can say goodbye. And let me find that magic button.
All right, everybody, thank you so much for joining us for these calls.